be on the watch for individuals who want to tell you not to do something, that this is not what you're supposed to do. This is not what the Lord wants you to do. This is not in the word of God. They're calling things out only to, to try to put you to shame. So you will not have a positive outlook on what you decided to become or what you have decided to do with your life and how you decided to raise your children or the spiritual things that you do. Be on the lookout, be on the watch for these individuals because they're going to try to call out everything. They'll try to call out <laughs> scriptures. They'll try to call out rules and regulations. It's all about the rules. Basically, like the Pharisees in the Word of God that talks about how they didn't want Yeshua to heal people on the Sabbath day or to cast out demons on certain days, you know, and they were just really going by the rules. Like, why are you doing this? And so I see like a lot of people doing this to some of the chosen ones because the Lord is sending you guys out to do something different than other people have done. And this is not going to always look like the church. It's not going to always look like this. Sometimes the Lord will send us into places where we have to speak to individuals who are not of God or who are not. Sometimes you may have to teach them and help them to see the love of the Lord through your life. And so I feel like a lot of individuals will be trying to do this to the chosen ones. Um, there's some things that will come up where you're doing your job, you're, you're doing good, you're happy with what you're doing, you're walking on your spiritual path, you're spiritual now, and everybody's knowing that. And there are going to be some people that's going to be watching and trying to call out these things. No, you should not be doing this. Women can't speak in front of the church or women can't pre preach or, you know, these, you know, you a man and you're, you're single, you shouldn't even be over nobody. You know, it's just certain stuff they're going to call out um, that are rules to them. And at this time, see the Lord, I told you guys is doing a new thing. There will be a lot of rumors and a lot of talk people whispering, you know, you can tell, you're going to be able to tell who these people are because when you come in the room, everybody's going to be quiet or they're going to act like they are not paying you any attention. They're going to act different. They're going to be so sus. You know what I mean? Y'all know how the ops be. They be sus. They be looking sus. They already look like they came to do something that they ain't supposed to be doing. This is going to be at a time where people are going to love evil and hate the good. That's right. So a lot of individuals are going to be rooting for uh, what is bad. And, and it's the same as when Yeshua was chosen to be the one who they um, crucified in, instead of Barabbas. Because remember, Barabbas, he was a very horrible person. I believe he had killed people and all kinds of stuff. And they knew it. And what they decided to do was to crucify Yeshua. The individuals who we're speaking of are coming to try to persecute you in your situation. So let me just give you a prime example. You're someone who is a, let's just say a beautician. Okay, you do hair and then you have one other person who does hair as well now this person who steals the type of hair that they use at their beauty shop and they're getting things illegally right they're getting these things Ill illegally and they they talk a lot of mess about people at their shop but you on the other hand you're pure. You talk about the Lord. You're doing what is right. You try to, you know, do everything the right way. You're not stealing anything you're doing. You're treating people with kindness and all types of stuff. So the other beautician decides like, look, I don't like her because she thinks she's too much. And it just becomes like the talk of the town of the talk of the beauticians. So people start to, you know, choose this other person over you because they feel like, you know, they believe the other person over you and it's simply because it's coming to a time where they were preferred the mess they like to hear the mess they like to hear what's going on in town and you know they like to see how they can get stuff for the low low and all that type of stuff because that's what they're into these people run to wickedness they run to evil because they feel like it's 
it's exciting to them. They want to hear what people are talking about. You know, they want to talk about the mess and who's doing this, who's messing with who and all of that. And that's like some, a similar example of what I'm talking about. You know, it's coming to a time where people are lying on those that are doing good. And I feel as though, like I said, you're going to have to watch out for these individuals. You're going to have to be on the lookout because they're going to try to call you out on your game, trying to call you out on some things that you're not doing wrong, trying to make you feel bad about making a decision to, you know, be spiritual or to do something against the grain that somebody else didn't do in your family. And you know, that's just them being a hater per the usual. See, y'all know Yeshua, he was respected in the streets, baby. He was respected. Everybody was like, yeah, you know, he's hanging with, of course, the naysayers were like, look, what you doing hanging with these tax collectors? What you doing with these thugs? What you doing with these people that, you know, what you doing with that prostitute over there? You know, it was like everybody that he called, everybody that he was around and he hung around was basically someone that people wouldn't would kind of frown upon especially the church the church would frown upon them but see Yeshua was respected baby these gangsters was respecting him like look I'm cool with him this dude done healed me look he told me I can come hang with him he cool people blah 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 um and that's basically like what I see for the chosen being sent out to hang out, not really hang out, but, you know, teach these individuals and help them and show them, like I said, the love of God to show them how we're supposed to be with each other and not to be prejudiced when it comes to that. Um, you know, just thinking that you can't be around certain people. You can actually change people's lives when you're like that, when you open yourself to healing other people because a lot of you guys are healers and you know that you can lay hands on the sick and see them get well um, and you can actually cast out the demons out of people that need to and you know I know sometimes it becomes hard to say like look I'm gonna go do this and you know just like how Jesus did inside of the word of God um it's kind of hard to do it because at this moment, you know, it's, it's sometimes, it's, you know, you're nervous, <laughs> but you become bold and you'll know exactly how you're supposed to do things. And like I said, this is not only just about that. It's basically you using your calling, you using your gifts that you have and incorporating these things with it and I feel like you know like some of you guys are maybe I'm always talking about musicians guys <laughs> a lot of you guys may be singers or rappers and you just never know like how many people you could actually change through your music um, you may you don't have to do exactly what they do, but you being um, around them, sometimes you may have to be in the studio with some of these individuals and you might change their life just by, you know, having that light because your light brings healing. Your very presence brings healing to other people. So some of you guys may be sent out. So you're going to be sent out among people that your local community probably would frown upon. Now, this is your intuitive message from Diva Talks. If you're looking to get a personal session with me, you can actually look inside of the description bar below and go to the website as follows. Thank you very much. Have an amazing day. I look forward to talking to you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.